Hi, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So with this video, I am going to continue my uh, Git video series. And uh, in this video specifically, uh, I'm going to show you how to use uh, one uh, quite useful uh, Git uh, option or Git command uh, called uh, log. And that uh, log command uh, will be used to actually search our uh, commit history. Now, uh, whether you have created your own commits or you are cloning uh, some different repository, you will be able to check and uh, search for a commit history. And without further ado, uh, let's get started. So here you can see that I have opened uh, git bash on my computer and uh, I have uh, navigated myself to this uh, project directory, which I have put under a version control. Now, if I type here uh, ls command, uh, then we are going to be able to see the actual files inside this uh, directory or this repository. Now, uh, we have uh, added those files in one of the previous videos in this uh, git video series. So the actual command for uh, checking our uh, commit history is uh, git log. So just uh, type uh, git log and press enter. And now we are going to be able to see uh, three different commits, okay? So each uh, commit here uh, starts with the actual hash value of that commit, then the author, its uh, email address, and the actual date and time uh, when that uh, commit uh, has been applied. After that date, we can also see a commit message, which we have written. So all those uh, three commits uh, which you can see here, I have made uh, on a Tuesday, uh, February 8, 2022, and uh, each one of those commits uh, has a different uh, hash value, of course, and a different uh, commit message, which I have written myself. Now, if you want to get uh, some more information about uh, each one of those uh, commits, uh, then we can write uh, here a git a log, and then I can type here a patch option. So if you type here this uh, patch option and press enter, uh, then we will be able to see here uh, some more information about the difference or the actual changes which we have made with those commits. So basically with this uh, first or the latest uh, commit, we have just created a new file.txt. Uh, then in the previous uh, commit, uh, I have changed or modified uh, my uh, file.txt. So as you can see here, I have just uh, added some uh, text uh, which says uh, some random text. And in my first commit, uh, I have just created a new file.txt. Okay, so uh, you can already assume that uh, each and every commit here in our uh, a log is uh, printed from the most recent one. So the first commit uh, which we are going to see here by typing this uh, git log command is the most recent commit and then we will be able to see the older ones. Now uh, let me just uh, clear this uh, screen for now. So type uh, clear command and here I'm going to show you also uh, a few options so we don't need to pass or type here uh, this uh, patch option every time we can just use a short option which is a um, forward slash uh, p and then i'm going to also specify here uh, one more option and that option uh, will basically represent the number of uh, commits that uh, i want to uh, see here and here i'm going to type uh, number one which means that i want to see only uh, one uh, commit in our commit history and that will be the latest uh, commit which we have added here so there we go. And now, as you can see, with this command, I was able to retrieve only uh, one commit, and that was the latest commit, okay? Now we can also type here number two, so we can get uh, two commits, for example, and not one, and so on. Okay. Uh, next, uh, I'm going to show you also uh, one uh, very uh, useful option. So type here git log, and then I'm going to call here a pretty. So this uh, pretty option uh, accepts uh, some default parameters, like for example, a uh, one line. Uh, we have also options like a short, a full or a fuller. So if I press here now enter, uh, okay, so I have a mistype here. I need to add a double T here, so pretty. And now press enter. So now we will see all our commits with only its uh, hash value and a commit message. Okay, and uh, this uh, pretty uh, one line uh, option is uh, quite useful, especially if we are working with a repository which uh, has a lot of different commits. Okay, so with this, we are going to be able to see each and every commit inside just a single line. Uh, so, the next thing I'm going to also show you some other options with this uh, pretty option. So, we can call here, for example, short. So, press enter. And with this uh, short option, uh, we will be able to see our commits and uh, not in a single line but uh, we will be able to see for example the actual commit the author and the commit message 
Uh, now let me just show you some other different options. So I'm going to type here a full. So we can here uh, see a full uh, description of our commit. We can also use the option uh, like a fuller. And this uh, fuller option will not just uh, display author and the commit, it will display the author date and the commit date as well. Now there is uh, one more uh, thing uh, which we can do with our uh, pretty uh, option. So here we can specify the actual format. So now we can type here a format, then a column, and basically now in those uh, double quotes uh, we can describe uh, which information we want to receive and how to format that uh, commit information. Now before I write here some code I want to show you one table and uh, inside this table uh, you can see all basically commands or options which we can use with our format. So for example here we have a percentage symbol and then the character or two characters depending on which command we choose. So the first command here is a uh, capital letter H which basically will allow us to uh, print a commit hash. Then we have a lower uh, case letter H, which will just print the short version of our commit hash. Then we have commands like uh, capital letter and lower case letter T. Then we have a P. Uh, we have AN for printing author name, uh, author email address, author date, committer name, committer date, subject, and so on. So now I'm going to specify here uh, one format, for example, a lowercase letter h, then a space, and a lowercase letter s, which will display the short version of our hash values of each and every commit, and this s will display a subject. So now press enter, and as you can see now we were able to print uh, only those uh, values which we have specified. So the first one was a short version of our uh, commit hash value and the second information is the actual subject or the commit message. So this uh, format uh, option is pretty useful, especially if you want to specify or output a certain information which uh, can be useful for machine parsing for example. So you can explore those uh, format options uh, furthermore. Uh, now I'm going to show you how you can also uh, display a graph. So uh, let me just write here uh, for example a short and I'm going to use uh, one more option called the graph. So with the graph, uh, we will be able to display in this output all our commits in a way that we can actually see our branches and the merges. But uh, since we haven't created any branch uh, in our repository yet, uh, then we are not able to see actually this uh, graph and how it looks like. But later in this uh, series I am going to cover uh, branching as well, so don't worry. Uh, the next uh, option I want to show you here uh, will be for uh, searching uh, our uh, commits and displaying uh, only certain commits that uh, were created on a specific date. So for example here I'm going to type a uh, git log and I can choose um, one option named uh, since and for example I can type uh, maybe two uh, weeks. So here we are not going to see anything because the first or the latest commit which I have uh, committed to this repository was created uh, five weeks uh, from now. So if I type here five weeks uh, then we should be able to see all those commits, okay? But of course we don't need to use this uh, five weeks uh, explicitly. We can also use uh, years and days and minutes and stuff. But now let me also show you how you can use the specific date. So now I'm going to say here, uh, for example, 2022 forward slash uh, February forward slash 8. And now press enter. So with this, we are going to be able to retrieve and get uh, all our commits, which we have created since this specific date. And you can see that uh, each and every commit here was uh, created on the same date, so February 8. And now if I try to type here, for example, uh, February uh, 9 or 9th, uh, then we are not going to be able to retrieve uh, those commits because those commits were created the day before. However, we can also type here uh, one uh, command which will for example say that we want to get uh, all commits which were created since uh, February 7th and uh, before February 9th for example. So let's type here 0209. So with this uh, we will be able to get uh, all commits which were committed or created since uh, February 7th until February 9th. Okay, now let's just uh, clear all of that. Uh, of course we can use here a git log command and uh, we can search a specific uh, file, for example new uh, file.txt and with this uh, we are going to be able to retrieve all commits where this specific file was included.
Okay, let me just uh, clear all of that. I'm going to type here git uh, log to see all my commits. And now I'm going to show you how you can also uh, search a specific commit with a specific keyword in a commit message. So for example, if I want to search uh, a certain commit where I have written this uh, specific word uh, modified, uh, then I'm going to type here something like uh, git uh, log, then a double forward slash, grab, space, and then the actual keyword. So for example, a modified. Now press enter. And with this, I am going to be able to retrieve uh, all commits, which uh, has this specific keyword in a commit message. There you go. So now I'm going to show you how to search uh, all your commits that are committed by a specified author. So for example, here I'm going to write uh, git log space uh, author space the name of the author. So my name here. There you go. So all those commits uh, were uh, committed by the single author, me. However, you can also combine here uh, multiple options with a git log command. So for example, I can write here a uh, git log pretty short space grab added. Press enter. And now we will be able to display all our commits in this uh, short format that uh, contain this uh, keyword in its uh, commit message okay okay so there are more different uh, useful kind of options which you can use with uh, git log command and if you want to learn more about it then uh, i highly suggest you to read the official manual for that uh, same command uh, nevertheless uh, here i have shown you one of the most popular and uh, most useful uh, options uh, which you can use with this command so if you have uh, any questions about uh, this video feel free to comment down below uh, like this video if you find it helpful of course and uh, see you next one